Hi guys, today we're going to talk about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. And I'm going to talk about that famous garden party that Prince Charles threw for his 70th birthday. If you remember, I had a video about that a few weeks back. And actually people came on that video to leave nasty comments saying that I was lying, I was twisting things. And in that video I was just saying that nothing happened during that garden party and that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry had to leave after 40 minutes because they had planned to go on their honeymoon. So haters, people I think are haters and people who want to hate on Meghan Markle for no reasons, came to my channel and started insulting me, saying that I don't know how to do research, I don't know my job. And funnily enough, there's a new article in those haters' favorite newspaper, the Daily Mail, and that article actually validates what I said in my first video. And the title of that story is There wasn't any angst. Lip reading expert debunks a nerve footage of Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, and Prince Charles showed drift starting at Royal Garden Party, as she says it was a polite goodbye. So basically, they're saying that they hired the lip reading specialist to read what happened and what was said during that party. And during that party, we see Prince Charles' aides call Prince Harry over to Charles because Charles wanted to tell him something. And he gets to Charles, Charles says something, and he touches Charles' arms. And according to the lip reading specialist, Charles said, we are going now, we have to leave. Harry nods and gestures ahead of him before patting his fathers on the back saying, you go ahead and returning to Meghan. Prince Charles goes on to say, we will go now, see you later. Meanwhile, Prince Harry adds, yes, catch up after. So the couple go on to say their goodbyes to Camilla, who tells Meghan, just coming to say goodbye, we will see you later. So this is what happened, okay? And it kind of makes sense when you watch the video. Well, I'm not sure where that story about Meghan Markle being disrespectful to Camilla came out from. But when you check the video, there's no such thing as her showing her tongue to Camilla. I think people have a big imagination, like, but they are fueled by hatred. So they can twist everything to make it appear in a negative way, just to slant or have anger uh, towards Meghan Markle. So when you look at the camera, look at the images, which I said in my previous video, that video doesn't validate what the haters are saying. They left after 40 minutes because it was reported that they were supposed to go to their honeymoon, but they agreed to come to that garden party to say hello at the request of Prince Charles. And they were meant to leave early so they can catch their plane to go. So please, those who came by that video to insult me, please do apologize because I've taken flags about that video with people calling me unprofessional. So here it is. I'm going to put the link in the uh, description so you can go and read what I've said so many times in my previous video, which is there was no drama. If there had been drama, the Sussex wouldn't have kissed Camilla goodbye or Prince Charles goodbye. So it doesn't make sense. I understand that you hate Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, but please use your logic because if you don't and you kind of say something that's completely illogical, it's going to embarrass you. The embarrassment is, is going to be on you, it's not going to be on Megan. Now, Megan looks like a victim now because it shows here that nothing happened, yet you guys were claiming that this happened. It's crazy. It's just like showing you an apple that's red and you see it and you say it's green. That's an example of what's going on with Meghan Markle. I think there was a nice garden party. Everybody was happy. Everybody was, uh, was friendly to each other. Yet the haters decided that, oh yes, Meghan Markle had behaved horribly towards Camilla. And when, when you check the video, it doesn't attest that. It doesn't validate that argument. Okay, that's my take on it. If you like the video, feel free to click on like. Subscribe for more video, leave your comments as well, and also click on the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you.